ground running for pre-season camp. How have you settled back in? Yeah, it's been good. Um, obviously, with the latest start, we got a little bit more of a break, um, but no, it's been good to get back into it. Um, and as you can probably see, the boys are, are flying at the moment, so I'm um, looking forward to getting into games and, and hitting the season hard. Is there a lot of difference in, in guys' programs? It seems like you know, units are being break, broken up a lot over the field. Yeah, obviously, um, different guys are at different points in pre-season. There's a lot of modified programs going on, so um, there's a bit of different training going on with different guys and different groups so um, there's not sort of one sort of particular program that everyone's following. Um, everyone's at different stages and will get themselves right for the start of the season. And that's given obviously you know, the, the very late finish to the season, the grand final and probably three or four weeks after most other teams have sort of started. Yeah definitely, definitely. That's um, a big part of it and obviously with people coming back at different times as well there's, there's people in um, different situations. So, Well last year those last four or five games that you played when you came back in the side, you were great. What, what's, your, what's your goals now this year going forward? Yeah, um, I was lucky enough to sort of break in um, at the right time last year. Um, so even then it was just about playing consistent footy um, and that's going to be the main focus now as well. Um, training starts with training, um, getting out on the park and training consistently and then once we roll into games, um, doing the same thing just consistently putting effort out there and, and uh, giving it my best shot each time I walk on the park. Do you have a rough target games-wise? Nah, nah, not at all. I think for me it's just trying to get into the NAB Cup side um, and play as much of that as I can. Um, everyone sort of wants to get into games and play, so, and then from there trying, if I can, get in the, into the side early, um, hopefully round one, but wait and see, and, and then it'll just be trying to hold my spot from there. I'm not putting any targets on games played or anything like that. A lot of people talk about those taller, slightly taller midfielders like Mundy and Barlow. Do you view yourself as something quite different in that mix? Yeah, obviously we ha do have those bigger mids, so I think it's important um, with teams these days to have a, a balanced uh, midfield. You can see with Collingwood they have the smaller guys in Blair and, and McCaffrey and, and players like that. So. Um, I suppose to have a mix is, is good and um, there's obviously a few guys that can play that role here. So, Was it an injury mid-year last year that sort of uh, kick-started you? Did it, am I right to say you had a, a rock-solid conversation with Ross about where you needed to go with your football and that, that ignited you? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, it was just sort of sitting down with him and, and sort of looking at where I was heading this year, last year, sorry. Um, and what I wanted to achieve from last year and, and then, um, to be honest, I can't actually tell you how I got into the side, it might have been an injury or something. Um, and then from there, was lucky enough to stay in, so, yeah, that was what sort of What were the types of things he was impressing upon you that you needed to improve within your game? Um, especially defensively, um, that's something that as a kid coming in I was, I was not very great at at all, so um, working hard both ways and not just offensively. I've always been able to get my hands on the footy, but it was about working hard without it and, and uh, also even now improving my tackling and things like that. So most of it was the defensive aspect of the game. On that basis, have you, have you, you bulked up just a little bit for this year or done anything different with your preparation? Um, not really <coughs> in terms of my body shape. Um, that's sort of stayed pretty similar, but um, I feel much fitter than I did this time last year and, and feel like I'm running heats better so that will definitely help with defensive transition and things like that um, and then it's just about tackling I think mostly it's just a mindset I think and wanting to tackle so I've got to lift in that area. The skipper talked last week about some minor tweaks you guys are making to your game plan is, is that a, an offensive thing given you've been drilled on defensive structures the last two years are you trying to build some aspects of the offence overall? Um, I think the game's always evolving, so you've got to change both defensively and offensively. But um, I think offensively we ranked pretty highly, but we still want to be top four. And, and um, I think with that, we were just outside, so we want to try and push up into that area. So it's something that we've been looking at. Um, but like I said, there's not much to tweak, it's just a few little things. When do you get stuck into match practice? Uh, we've sort of been doing it already. Um, today we did like two eight minute blocks of that and it was sort of full ground stuff. Um, and then I think our first trials um, in a couple of weeks. So um, over the next sort of couple of weeks we'll keep building and building and do a bit more. But um, every training session is pretty much game simulation. So yeah, we'll build towards a couple of weeks when we have our internal. Will there be a bit more sort of tackling and, and physical 
sort of work then? Because it didn't, didn't sound like a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, that'll sort of increase as we head towards games, I think. Um, at the moment, it's sort of looking after each other as well as training hard. So um, you've got to get the right balance. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll look to sort of do more contact in the coming weeks. How's um, Anthony Morabito going? It looks like he's, he's doing more and more with the team, or at least in, in drills. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on the exact of his, where he's at at the moment. But, um, yeah, he looks to be moving well out on the track. So hopefully he's not too far away from joining the main group, but like I said, I'm not 100% sure what the go is there. And Josh Simpson took a bit of time away and he's come back now, how's he sort of looking? Yeah, no, he's looking pretty good. Um, I saw him today training and, and he's looked in good nick, so we'll see how he goes over the next few weeks and see what happens. Lockie, the grand final experience last year, um, I know you played obviously a limited role on the day, but what did you take away from that experience? Or, Frustration? Did you want to get more involved and take that into this year or, or something different? Um, oh, for me, it was um, obviously an exciting time, an exciting build up, and, and something a little bit different. But um, I suppose once the game started, it was almost business. Well, it was business as usual. And um, I think for me, it was just taking away that experience. And um, I suppose that throughout the off season with the loss, it sort of urged me on a bit. and made me want to train a bit harder and, and get ready for this year but uh, there's a lot of hard work to go before we even think about making finals and stuff. It's about round one against Collingwood. So. Re-signing recently, was that a, a no-brainer for you? Yeah, it was. Um, the club's been really good to me. Um, obviously took a chance on me in the draft. I went pretty late so um, to repay the faith was obviously something that I wanted to do and I love the people here and love the club and, and they've looked after me really well so that was an easy decision for me. And you, you talked about that Collingwood game. I think the first sort of as many as nine weeks you play a lot of the top four, a lot of finalists. Collingwood, Hawthorne round three, then Sydney round five. Are you trying to time your preparation so that you're ready to go to round one because there's some big games early? Um, I suppose for me, um, there's a lot of pressure on spots, um, as you can probably tell with the list and, and where it's at at the moment. So I'm just looking at sort of Nav Cup and trying to put in good performances there and, and see how we go. I'm not looking <coughs> too far ahead into the season, but um, if I can try and get a game round one, that's my, my aim at the moment, yeah. What's the atmosphere like, given the pressure that's on for spots? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Oh, it's, we've got a really good camaraderie with the group, um, so nothing sort of changed off the field, but once we hit the track, it's sort of there's a lot of uh, it's intense and, and training sort of stepped up a gear and everyone's ready to go so yeah it is intense at training at the moment.